Chapter 7 Using MS Word 2016 A word processor is a computer program or software that allows the users to enter, edit and format text. There are many word processors available, for example, Word, WordPad, OpenOffice Writer and so on. Microsoft Word is one of the most popular word processors. Uses of MS Word 2016 You can do many things using Word 2016. Type letters, stories and a lot more. Make changes in the text such as adding, deleting, copying and moving text. Add pictures, video and audio clips. Check spelling and grammatical errors. Save the document for future use. Print the document onto the sheets of paper. Starting MS Word 2016 To start MS Word 2016, Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. In the Start menu, scroll down and select Word 2016. The start screen of Microsoft Word 2016 appears on the screen. Click on the blank document option. A new Word document opens. Parts of MS Word 2016 window. The different parts of Word 2016 window are shown and marked here. Title bar. This bar is present at the top of the window. It displays the name of the document. A new document in Word is named as Document 1. Right to the title bar, minimize, maximize or restore down and close options are available. Quick access toolbar. It is present on the top left corner of the Word window. It contains the buttons of the most frequently used commands such as Save, Undo and Redo. Ribbon Ribbon is located just below the title bar. It contains the various tabs. Tabs are further divided into groups and each group contains a set of related commands. File tab. This tab is present at the upper left corner of the ribbon. It contains various file related commands such as creating, opening, saving and printing a file. Work area. It is an empty white area which is also called the document window. It is the main area where you can type and edit text, insert pictures and a lot more. Cursor A small blinking vertical line displayed on the work area is known as cursor. It specifies the insertion point from where the user can start typing. Rulers MS Word provides horizontal and vertical rulers. The horizontal ruler is present at the top of the document area. It changes the width of the work area. The vertical ruler is present along the left edge of the document area. It changes the height of the work area. Scroll bar A word document has two scroll bars. The horizontal scroll bar is present at the bottom of the work area. It lets you move the page towards right and left. The vertical scroll bar is located on the right side of the work area. It lets you move a page up and down. Status bar. It appears at the bottom of the window. On its left side, it displays the page number and word count. On its right side, the zoom slider and the view options are present. Creating a new document 
to create a new document, follow the given steps. Click on the File tab. In the left pane, select the new option. Select the Blank Document option in the right pane. A new blank document appears. Shortcut key. Press Ctrl plus N key combination to open a new document in Word window. Typing text in Word. When a new Word window opens, a cursor appears at the top left in the work area. You can type the text using a keyboard. As you type the text, notice that the cursor automatically shifts towards the right. Note, press Enter key only when you wish to start a new paragraph. Selecting text To make any changes in the typed text, you first need to select it. To select the text, place the pointer at the desired position and click. Press and hold down the left mouse button. Now, Drag the mouse over the text to be selected. Release the mouse button. The selected text gets highlighted in a grey bar as shown in the given figure. Tip! In a Word document, you can easily erase the text using Backspace key or Delete key. To remove the text using Backspace key, place the pointer to the right of the text to be erased. Press Backspace key. To remove the text using Delete key, place the pointer to the left side of the text to be erased. Press Delete key. Inserting text. While working in a Word document, you may need to add some new text in it. To insert the text, bring the pointer at the position where you wish to insert new text and click. Insertion point or cursor appears on the screen indicating the position from where the new text will appear. Now type the text. Saving a document If you have not saved a document, you may lose it forever. That is why it is important to save a document. To save a document, do as follows. Click on the File tab. Select the Save option. The Save As screen appears. Double-click on this PC button or click on the Browse button. The Save As dialog box appears. In the left pane, select a location to save your file. In the File Name box, enter a suitable name for the document. Click on the Save button. The file extension for a Word 2016 document is .docs. The file extension is automatically added after a file name. Shortcut key. To save a document, press Ctrl plus S key combination. Tip. You can also click on the Save button present on the Quick Access toolbar. Opening a saved document. To open a saved document, do as follows. Click on the File tab, Open option. The open screen appears in the right pane. Double click on this PC option or click on the Browse option. The open dialog box appears. Locate and select the desired Word file. Click on the Open button. The selected document opens. Shortcut key. To open a saved file, press Ctrl plus O key combination. Printing a document To print a document, do as follows. Click on the File tab. Select Print option in the left pane. Click Print button in the center pane. The document will be printed. Shortcut key To print a document, press Ctrl plus P key combination. Exiting MS Word 2016 Exiting Word means closing the Word application. You can exit Word using any of these methods. Click on the Close button present at the extreme right to the title bar. Or 
press alt plus f4 key combination shortcut key press control plus w key combination to close a word document window tip to close word document click on the file tab close option